It's your girl Avery Day. We're here live at the at the Christian Lounge. We on Gospel Plus Television. Yeah. I'm here with Aaron Gray. What's up? What's up, Aaron Gray? Right, yeah. We want to know a little bit about him yeah. and his ministry. Where are you from? Stratford, Oklahoma. Whoa. Came all the way from Stratford, Oklahoma. How long you been doing this? I've been doing this for about two years, going on two years in November. Oh wow. Okay. How long you been saved? I've been saved since, well, I fully dedicated my my life to Christ when I was 18. But before then, I mean, I was raised in the church, and I went to church since I was like 12, 13, you know, uh, trying to pull everybody into church. But uh, I, I finally understand what it meant to be changed and sanctified to Christ at 18. Amen. Amen. So, how did you know that, you know, Christian rap was something that you wanted to do? Well, truthfully, to be honest, uh, I was in a band. Uh, I was a drummer. I played guitar since I was 15, and I always wanted to do music. I wrote since I was 12. I started writing rap songs when I was 12. Uh, I quit when I was about 15, 16. I started driving, got a girl and everything, and went on my own way. Anyways, but, uh, you know, I never really liked rap, to be honest, but after I realized that it, it changed people's lives, and after I realized, I felt like God was calling me to do it because I kept having dreams of me doing it. Uh, whenever I was suicidal and God was showing me another way, uh, I'll just be honest with you, I was suicidal, I wanted to give up my life, um, but God saved me, and He gave me a beautiful wife that I don't deserve, Amen. I'll be honest with you, I don't deserve this, <laughs> I'll glory to God, baby, I'll glory to God. Amen, that's such a beautiful thing for a man to speak of his wife, because we are, you're real, you know. So that's a blessing to even think, you know, acknowledge your wife. That's a blessing. Thank God for men of God that do, that does that. Um, how did you hear about the Christian Island? How did you hear about, you know, uh, coming down here to Funky Town, Texas, and getting your shine on? How did you hear about us? Well, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, whenever me and my, I think we were dating then or just talking. I'm not. No, we were dating. Yeah, because. Now I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> no, we were dating, and uh, Prodigal and y'all had a, uh, a Gospel Flows booth out there for the Man Up concert with Lecrae. And I happened to go there, and I wanted to propose for my wife. I wanted to propose to her on stage, and they were like, after two hours of going through everything, they were like, you got a background check? And I was like, yeah, I got that in my pocket. Let me just give it out. <laughs> but anyways, so it didn't happen. But uh, about a month later, which we were dating three months, and we got married because when God calls you to do something, I believe, don't wait. And I knew for a year, and I ran for a year, but he opened my eyes and pulled the scales off, and, and I see, man. And I looked at her, and I said, I'm going to marry you one day. She probably thought I was crazy, <laughs> but it was a God thing, and we're married, and we've been torn pretty much everywhere, so all glory to God. Yeah, amen. amen, amen. So I want you to look in the camera right now and let somebody know, it may be a young person out there that, you know, wants to do gospel rap, but they don't know how to do it and they don't know if it's really their calling. I need you to speak into the camera and kind of explain to them uh, how you got on the road and how you know it's for you. I'll tell you what, whenever I was suicidal, uh, I went to my mom's one day, uh, struggling for about five months of killing myself. Um, but she seen me, and I walked through the door, and she was, she was crying her eyes out, and she told me, she said, Aaron, I had a dream. And the dream was you had no legs, and you weren't going nowhere. And my mom's a prayer warrior, and I was like, wow, I knew what it meant instantly. She goes, I don't know what it means. I said, I know what it means. I said, I feel lost. I feel like there's no hope. Like I'm done. She said, well, I want you to pray on a 30-day fast. I said, a fast? I said, Mom, I gotta eat. I'll die. <laughs> I can't miss a meal. <laughs> she said, I want you to go on a 30 day fast, maybe of no girls, no Facebook, no MySpace. You know, just all this stuff. And I was like, all right. So I did it and I struggled. And I struggled. I had to wake up punching, punching doors, punching walls, because I wanted to give up. But every time since I went on that fast, I kept seeing my wife and my dream, who I was running from. And I kept seeing me on stages in front of people, thousands of people, speaking to lives, giving them hope, telling them my story like I am now. And I kept trying to go the other way, but God just kept telling me, don't give up on me. Don't give up. i got something great for you. Just press through that fire. You can make it through that storm. We're waiting on the drought, and we're just waiting on the rain. And I'll tell you what, every obstacle I face, I see. Now I was just closer to His grace. So, that's my story. Wow. So you're here first on Gospel Flow Television. I'm 
on your girl, Aaron Thane, and this is... Aaron, don't give up hope. You got a dream, pursue it. Put Christ first, like I said. You'll see your dreams come true. Amen, amen.